19 officers from the Japan Ground Self-Defense Forces Medical School in Tokyo recently visited Kamzama's U.S. Army Medical Department Activity Japan as part of a psychological officer's course. Visiting the Behavioral Health Services Department gave students an opportunity to learn about U.S. behavioral health methodology and patient procedures. Behavioral health is very complicated um, as we've been experiencing it over the last uh, 15 years and we uh, are very privileged to be able to share that knowledge that we've gained um, over these last 15 years. We've gone through a lot of transformations ourselves to try to figure out how behavioral health fits in and, and nests with the military to help support families, but also to support that soldier on their primary mission. The visit began with a mission briefing by Colonel Mark Hultquist, Deputy Commander for Clinical Services, followed by presentations from Behavioral Health Services and Master Resiliency Training. Students also heard from other Camp Zama organizations, including Army Community Service, Army Wellness Center, and Chaplain's Office, who also provide support for soldiers and their families. I had the rare opportunity today to hear how the U.S. Army works on a variety of programs that support their soldiers, especially the program that also support their family members. I think it is very different from the program that JGSDF provides to support members of JGSDF, so it was very interesting. The U.S. Army has the combat experience, and because of that, their programs to support soldiers are very organized and are designed to support their family members as well. I also realized that when they support soldiers, they also take care of their personal life. I think that's the part that JGSDF needs to work on in the future. I think we should continue doing this every year. I think it's very, very helpful. We learned from them too because they did presentations for us and it was amazing at some of the similarities that they have. After they complete their 12-week psychological therapist course, officers will return to home units to begin supporting their personnel. I hope that they understand that the soldier um, has many uh, competing factors uh, when they're trying to do their mission. The factors of, of daily stress, the relationships at work, and then the stress of just the mission and, and making sure it happens. And that to keep the soldier in the fight and keep them focused, uh, we as leaders need to help give them the skills and understanding to be able to deal with those things confidently and expeditiously so that they uh, remain focused um, on the mission and mission completion. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, I'm Kevin Kratzarek.